us a little bit about your role as the lead for education, thought leadership, and advocacy at Adobe. Yeah, a part of what we do is we focus on research. We want to know what are the essential skills for students as they go into the workforce. It's probably no surprise that what we're seeing is that these essential skills are things like communication, collaboration, critical thinking, creative problem solving. Uh, so we, as we look at those skills and whether or not they're taught in school, part of what we're trying to do is understand the best ways in which educators can help prepare students for a rapidly changing world where these kinds of essential skills and the and the skill of being a lifelong learner is going to be one that really matters to students. So part of the role is around research. Then we also look at uh, ways in which we can give educators platforms to share their stories, to share examples. I think one of the great ways in which people learn is by seeing a model, by hearing what somebody else has done, and not just a model that's perfect, but a model where of someone who's struggled to learn something new, to figure out the best way to engage a particular audience. And so part of the work that we do is around trying to, to elevate the stories of educators and make sure that they're heard broadly by policymakers, by other educators, by parents. Then we also advocate for the kind of instructional practices that really have delivered the best results in terms of preparing folks with these essential skills. I've also been focused on how to help students demonstrate skills, whether that's in the college admissions process, through a portfolio, through certification. And then we work on just exploring new ways to engage learners. And I started a podcast this year focused on kind of creating curriculum and professional development for educators, ways in which we can use live streaming and conferences to help reach and engage an audience. So some of it is around the foundational, what are we doing and why? And some of it is on outreach. How do we help share what we're learning with others?